Today, we are going to find out just how much AUEC, which is the money or the currency in Star Citizen, that we can make. How much currency, how much money can we make by doing one hour of bunker missions, just the low tier stuff, not the high tier stuff, something that a newbie can start out with. So we're going to start out with uh, this amount of cash, okay, and then we're going to check in in 30 minutes and then one hour. So let's get the let's get the timer started right now. We're already like 24 seconds in. We're going to summon the ship. All right. I wish I could move during this because I don't need to watch this play out, but pad 02, let's go, pad 02, the speedrun has begun, and by the way, I'm going in naked, no armor, no weapons, just the undersuit and helmet, pad 02, let's go, oh, let me kill that off the screen, very cool, so we're going to check in in th about 30 minutes how much money we have made, and then at the one hour mark, and we'll see precisely just about how much an hour we can make now the first bunker is going to be the most difficult bunker and which let's go ahead and get those missions right now while we ride the elevator contracts manager go to mercenary and we want assistant defending site we want the easy one first okay Th this one has the worst ai it's pretty quick to clear and we want call to arms which is a bonus which is 500 for every bad guy that we take out okay so with that it should be Easy peasy, we're gonna go, we're, we're right on Everest Harbor, which is right above Hurston, the planet. And from here, we can just very quickly warp to where we need to go. We're not gonna kill the turret, we're just gonna park right behind it. We're not gonna be looting anything other than uh, the first bunker, we're gonna get a full set of armor and uh, ammo for whatever weapon we choose to use. And then from there, we're just gonna go bunker to bunker, uh, finish the mission as fast as possible. We're not doing any of the really long timey missions. We are just doing the fast ones, okay? The, very, the the fastest missions we can, which are usually beat up ten dudes or eight dudes, okay? I, I know, I, I know that sounds silly, but uh, I believe that to be the best money per hour method, okay? So let me get aligned here, and I know I kind of looked the wrong way at first. I was a little disoriented. There's a lot of stuff on the screen sometimes on this game, but we're gonna go to HDSF Tamar. That is a bunker, and we're gonna well. The first, the, uh, again, this is the hardest part, okay? We have to run in there and grab a weapon that's on the ground or find a guard or a guy that's isolated and then punch him out. We're just going to circle straight around him, punch him in the head. He's going to get knocked out. We'll take his weapon and then clear the bunker. From there, we're going to evaluate which weapon we want, get a full armor set with, uh, you know, ammo clips, magazines, whatever they're called, and then we can just go bunker to bunker in that one set preferably if we have enough ammo we can get more ammo as we go bunker to bunker and then see how much we earn in one hour all right so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you this uh, tamar bunker here so i've got crews on at max uh, max throttle and i'm not doing anything fancy that a newbie wouldn't like i'm not going in here and putting all my power to thrusters or anything fancy I'm just playing it normally like someone would th their very first time, okay? Well, sort of, their very first time. Maybe if they've watched a few YouTube videos. Obviously, that's what this game is all about. You watch the YouTube videos and then you learn some stuff, okay? So we're going to fly here. We've got 10 more kilometers to go. It's not that long, and uh, we're going to park behind the turret. Now, it's I'll show you when I get closer, but every single one of these bunkers has like a little hump, like a, like a fin at the top of the building. And what that does is it blocks uh, the turret from shooting at you, okay? Now, the reason we don't just blast the turret to bits is because I've encountered a bug where if you kill the turret, the friendly guards inside the bunker might think that you're a bad guy and shoot you. So right now we're being shot at by the turret. I'm just going to coast over here, put my landing gear out down because we're going to land. And you see that little, like little area on the top of that building there see where the turret is okay see the turret can't shoot beyond it and yes i'm aware i'm a little wonky but that's fine okay see the turret can't shoot us we're good so we're just gonna go ahead and land now and hop on out Oop. there we go turn the ship off very quickly this is a speed run we're gonna jump right out of the ship completely unarmed and take out all the bad guys in this bunker don't worry it's that easy guys it's super easy to do. There is a rare time where the enemies will desync or they have a super AI or they just lock onto you and blast you immediately. It happens. The thing is, is that even if you're fully armored and that happens, you're still dead anyway. So it doesn't matter if you have weapons or not. Uh, as a brand new character, new account, new player, um, it's best that you don't buy a starter set because your game could crash on the way. Another player could kill you and take your stuff. All sorts of things can happen. So you don't... 
want to uh, to do any of those kind of investments, just run in here, look, completely naked, no, no inventory right now because I don't have any armor sets or nothing. And I'm going to show you the quickest way to loot your first guy, but we're usually just going to grab a weapon, clear out the bunker, and then we start looting. That way we can be selective with our loot. So I'm going to run in here. And we're looking for a weapon on there. Look, at there's already plenty of weapons on the ground. Now, there's a guy there right next to me. But, hey, look at this. Hello! See how easy that was? That's two guys down. You don't have to be a pro FPS shooter gamer to be able to do this. You just grab the, the gun. And those are yellows. We don't want to kill those guys. Okay? Some, some of the purples are already down here. And I'm just making sure that he's dead and not, like, passed out. There we go. I'm not even doing headshots. I'm just... I'm just aiming center mass. I mean, you don't have to aim center mass. You can aim for the head if you want. You can even aim down sights. The AI in this game, not very good right now. Maybe one day they might be. In some bunkers, they are really good. I think that uh, these guys are just, like, scaled down for difficulty reasons. But uh, essentially, I'm just hugging one side of a wall and combing the sides of the wall. Making sure I hear gunshots, but it's not towards me. It's towards the yellow guys in the bunker. That's why we chose the 15,000 one first. And here it is. There we go. Took him out. There might be more, so we're gonna clear. <laughs> uh, and now I'm I'm a little low on ammo, so I'm gonna grab another weapon here. I'm just gonna grab this guy's weapon if I can. Now it's risky to loot while there's still at least one hostile left, but hey, we managed to do it. Okay. Uh, and he's just kind of pointing at the wall there. Uh, he's a special needs guard. That's okay. And that was the last guy, mate. No, no, that was not the last guy. Again, it's this easy, okay? And I know I'm making it look a little easy, but these guys are they're not smart AIs. They're just little scripts that are like lagging. <laughs> that guy teleported, you see that? All right, so we have one more. I've got 13 shots left. I'm pretty confident we can do it in the 13 bullets. It's a yellow man. Yellow, do not shoot the yellows. All right, if you shoot the yellows, you go to jail for an hour, and that's not fun. Plenty of loot on the ground here, but don't worry. We're gonna find that last guy. I'm now kind of... Is that is that him? That's him. And there we go. We did it. So now we're completely safe. Hopefully, preferably. I, I mentioned for you to do this. I'm gonna check his weapon real quick. That's an LMG. That's exactly what we want. Now, the guy that... The, first, the dude that you kill, the weapon that he drops, he's gonna have ammo for that weapon. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this the easiest way. It's time to strip down. Take your helmet off, then throw your weapon on the ground if the game lets you. Area too cluttered. Okay. So we're gonna... Find somewhere else to go. Maybe over here. Maybe in a corner. And is it going to let us strip down now? Yes, so helmet off, weapon on the ground, and your undersuit. That's right, take everything off. Bare your, your chest to the world. And find that dude that had the, the gun that you wanted. I think that was him. Maybe? I swear. Yeah, it's this guy. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to hold F and click loot. You just want the, the generic loot. So here's his inventory. We're going to right-click on his undersuit. Click equip. That sucks his entire suit onto us, including the ammo that he had for his weapon here. He will. They will always have weapons. Click equip and don't click grab. There we go. We have 240 and then 120 in the chamber. So that's really, really nice. Plus, since this is heavy armor, or yeah, it's heavy, heavy, and heavy. Or heavy, heavy, medium, okay? So it's not perfect, but it's good enough. We've got healing already equipped. This guy's weapon, same deal. Oh, no, it's a shotgun. We don't we don't want to bother looting him. Now, you can loot his healing items, too. Like, let's see. I've got three slots for heals. We don't want his shotgun ammo. He has medium leg armor. Mm, not really worth our time. This first bunker, we are going to gear up, okay? We definitely want to get as much ammo, heals, utility as possible. To that, that way, the rest of the bunkers, we don't have to stop and do any of this stuff. We can just loot and scoot, or rather, just clear it out and, and disappear, okay? So, let's see... Here's another heavy boy. What kind of he's got the F9 magazine. That is the weapon that we're carrying. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna double click it. That way I, I get it. Double click that. His again, he's got the medium leg armor. We don't want that. So now I double clicked it, it's there, but it's not showing it's compatible. I don't know. It's being weird. Sometimes the game's weird, but we've got plenty of bullets anyway for, for quite a while. We won't have to worry. We can always loot other bunkers, okay? Uh, let's see. None of the, these guys look juicy enough. That see, that's the that's the weapon right there. I just don't know which one. It's probably the heavy boy here. Go ahead and double click all of those. His leg armor also medium. So you can see we've we've got the ammo here. 
Okay, yeah, it updated when I pulled the weapon out. So I have 720 shots. So we're good. We're, we're all good to go. We have heals. We have mostly heavy armor. And we're all set to rock and roll. I'm going to get back on the elevator and find the next mission now. Same deal. Contacts manager, mercenary. And I don't want to... I want the fast ones. Like, evict illegal occupants. We're going to accept that offer. And we're going to go to Elbridge next, which is very simple. So here's the thing with the... El uh, evict illegal occupants quest okay sometimes in these bunkers there are people that they had just have like a little breathing mask on they're like civilians or unarmored civilian dudes okay or like scientist looking dudes that cower down do not shoot them because it fails the quest okay you absolutely do don't want to gun them down it, it, it will fail the quest you won't get that 20k you can still kill all the all the bad guys in the bunker if you do fail for that 500 per kill now, on some of these bunker quests, you can get real lucky. Um, you can you can show up to the place that you need to clear, and there's like one guy left alive. You, you pop him, and that's an instant 20k. Uh, or you get lucky where there's like an almost infinite spawning of guards, and that's 500 per kill for as much ammo as you can you have on you. That's why we get a full stack of, of uh, ammo in case that happens, because they will just infinitely spawn forever. So I'm just gonna point directly up. We need to get to 9,000 uh, altitude. So if you look here on the right, I have cruise control on, don't worry about it. Our altitude, we need this to read 9,000 before we can use quantum travel to the next bunker. You can't do it if you're under 9,000, okay? As Vegeta says, it's over 9,000. Anyway, so we're, uh, what is this? We're about 11 minutes in now and we've only cleared one bunker, but don't worry, the rest are gonna be very quick, okay? And I think that this is faster than farming on a rock. I've done some rock farming. All right, uh, let me, go ahead and kill my cruise control don't worry the g's won't make me pass out and we're gonna go to elbridge which it kind of it really it like right right from the screen it looks like we just left there didn't we but it's not it's actually on the other side of the planet so we're gonna go ahead and loop around at this point you gotta hope that your game doesn't crash or lag out because that happens let me rant a little while uh, and explain why I believe this is a superior method for making money for new players, as well as superior to mining, okay? So, this is in the game's current state, maybe in the future, you know, it won't be always be this way, but... When you mine, here's what happens. You have to rent a rock ground vehicle to mine with, ROC. Um, yeah, rock, ROC. And uh, that's, that, that's, you know, an investment for, for new players. That's, that's a little bit of money. It's not too bad if you do these bunker missions. You can easily get, afford it. Then you have to rent a Cutlass Black, or what the community calls for shorthand, a Cutty Black? Anyway, so with those, I'm going to go and turn on my lights too, because uh, it's dark, dark side of the, of the planet. Once you rent the Cutty Black, you can fit the rock inside of it, and then you can coast around a, like, super hot or cold planet and mine like gemstones okay you also have to spend 10,000 on the uh, armor so you can survive the planet's hostile temperatures and you have to rent the cutty black these are one day rentals i think the cutty black is 55k the rock is 5k basically it's like 60 to 70,000 starter monies to be able to mine and while mining there are so many things that can go wrong okay besides like other players killing you and whatnot you don't get any money until you take all the stuff that you mined successfully hopefully all the way back to an area to vendor it okay whereas with these bunker missions you get paid immediately every time you pop a guy's head off 500 every time you complete a mission 15k 20k 22k 60k if you get the higher end ones and you can you can rank up to those really really quickly i'm gonna turn cruise control off here and the turret might start blasting might not all right this one's a little bit smoother and there we go, yeah. Make sure you park behind that turret, because the turret can just randomly become hostile, and it will attack your ship even if you're not in it. And then you'll just wake up with no ship. Sometimes you can log out and log in fast enough, and you can keep all your armor and weapons, and sometimes you can't. I don't know. I don't really get it. Okay. So we're going to go in here, and we, we're fully armed now. We're, we're basically the Terminator. We're just going to run in here and blast everybody. Hopefully not any innocent dudes. And make sure you don't ever hit a guard, or the run's over. You got to go to jail. Okay, that's the only downside to bunker busting, is you have the uh, opportunity to go to jail. So, with rock mining, you're going to spend an hour, you know, filling up that rock with gemstones, and then you have to successfully bring it back to the planet to sell it. And I find I make about 150000 an hour doing that. 
However, there's there's lots of problems that can, that can happen. Your game can crash. Your ship can randomly blow up. You can sink through the ground. All sorts of weird stuff happens. And if it does, you, you are nothing, okay? Well, let me tell you the worst case scenario, which happened on my very first time attempting it. And that is... You rent the Cuddy Black, you rent the rock, you go fill up a rock full of gemstones successfully, and on your way back to base to sell it all, the game crashes. So you reopen the game, and the game will not let you connect. You just cannot connect to the game, no matter how much you try. So you are forced to do what's called a character reset. You reset your character, which resets all of your items in your inventory, and um, you lose your rentals, you lose everything you mind, and you gain nothing. You, and you're out that money that you paid for the rental, so you never get that back, it's gone. So that's that's harsh for a new player. I gotta make sure this guy's a, a, is yeah these. <laughs> those are purples. I had to I had to confirm their color. Okay, they were like in a little misty zone. It was hard to see what color they were. If they're not purple, y you don't shoot them. <laughs> I like how he teleported forward there a bit. This AI is a little more awake than usual. That's kind of scary for me. Okay, I don't like that. And we're paying attention to the top of the screen here. Also, another no, uh, blah, blah, blah. another thing to note is the ammo. I'm not like OCD reloading, okay? This is not like a, a first-person shooter game that you might be used to, like Call of Duty. Or, uh, am I crashing? Uh, uh, it's not like Call of Duty, okay? It's more like Tarkov. If you sit here and push reload after every few shots, you're going to have a bunch of weapon clips or magazines. I don't know the proper military term. I'm sorry, okay? Uh, but you're, you're gonna have a bunch of them. There we go. Objective complete. We're out. We don't even need to loot. We don't need to open any boxes. There's nothing of value here. And we barely used one full magazine at all. Maybe not even half. Okay, so we got paid for that. It only took a few seconds. Mostly traveling time. That's it. And that was an easy 20k. We got a bonus of 500 for doing it so fast, I think. I hear more dudes. That's a free 500, okay? That's a free 500. That's a free 500. Free 500. Free 500. I'm getting shot. That's okay. I've got heals. Remember, we looted those earlier. Just push C and then left click. Mmm, good stuff. Not a problem, right? Now, I could always... I'm down to 8 shots. I, I want to make sure that I empty this magazine if I want. But what shot me? Because I killed all three of those dudes. Unless, like, one just bled out or something. But yeah, e each time you find a respawning body like that, even though we beat the mission already, it's a, it's a free 500. There's no reason not to do it. Also, is that the same weapon we're using? It is. So, if you want, if I deem it safe, even though there's respawns right now, I could loot this guy for more med pins. I could loot him for more ammo. If you want to, you don't have to. I'm just going to go ahead and double click that, double click that, and there we go. We are, <laughs> we're back up to what we were, completely unharmed as if we weren't touched at all. Now, you can also loot medical boxes that are around here for med guns if you want to treat more serious injuries. Yeah, I don't have to worry about that. But again, super easy money. I don't even know how much we made just from that one bunker. It's now 18 minutes in, and we're going to go to the next contract. We're going to go to Mercenary and... That one takes too long and bugs out. Assistant defending site, of course. Illegal surveillance, no, no, and no. So we're going to go to this 15k one, which is in Millerand. Miller, Millerand, whatever. Again, we want the most secure ones that don't bug out or take forever to complete. Those are the ones that you want to do. Also, there's a light. Is there a light shining? No, I'm just paranoid. I thought, I thought a ship was like hovering over and shining its lights. Uh, because you can't see, like, ship radar or incoming ships. Uh, maybe with a special helmet you can, but you really can't see ships on your radar until you're in your own ship. And I know I have my ship lights on. That's why it's, you know, shining so bright and stuff. But, again, this is easy, fast money, and you can do this. Like, you don't... There's no, like, investment in order to get into this. Okay? You got your starter ship. You fly here. Um, and the cool thing is it's hard to disrupt from whales and what i mean by that hold on my viewing angle is all weird turn on ship let me let me uh, get blasted off here real quick let's just crank up that speed okay so what i mean by whales whales are people that spend thousands of dollars on this game for super mega power ships okay those guys if you try to do like bounty hunter missions or just stuff out and flying around they can bully you they can take your cargo they can blow you up they can 
you're, you're, you're their plaything, but inside a bunker, their ship is powerless. They have no power, no quarter, they have no command over you. They, they, you are on equal footing with them because, well, if you're ro rocking a full heavy armor kit with LMG or a full light kit with SMG and you're good at shooting games, then they're probably not good at shooting games since they spent their whole life making lots of money and climbing the corporate ladder or whatever it is they did to be able to afford thousand dollar ships. Okay, so... If they decide to go in the bunker for whatever reason, after you, or they're just doing it to maybe show a friend that it's like something they can do, or whatever reason, I don't know. But you can blast them. <laughs> I mean, I think it's illegal. I, I don't know if you get crime stat for killing others that invade the bunker or not. I really have no idea. But what I'm saying is, you have, like, your starter ship has no chance to fight one of their ships, ever. Um, even, a, even, not even, not even one of the thousand dollar ships, just like the two hundred dollar ships. You can sit there, like, I can use my starter ship with, with just the starting normal stuff, and I can sit there and shoot something called a Vanguard. Like, I found one outside of a satellite, just no one in it, and I decided I shot all my missiles at it, all my machine gun bullets at it, and I shot several fully charged laser blasts at it. You know, the, the lasers overheat or they run out of energy and I have to wait for them to spool back up. What, whatever the word is, you know, recharge. Like, three or four or five bursts worth. And the ship didn't die. The ship was just, it was still alive. And I was breaking through its shields and hitting its hull. At least that's what the animation that showed me it was. It's just that that ship was, you know, so far advanced than mine that I didn't have the weaponry to ever fight it. So... <laughs> It's not, it's not fun dealing with players that have an advantage over you because they paid to win, essentially. But in these bunkers, that's not the case at all. Nope. Uh, you blast them in the head, it doesn't matter what armor they have or gun they have. If you're the better shot, uh, you know, if you see them first and you pull that trigger first, then boop, down they go. Uh -huh. Right? Good stuff. Alright, this is scaring me a bit because I'm getting a little close to the ground and I can't see nothing. Alright. Uh, also, yeah, turret shooting, so I'm just gonna swoop behind it again. We just get behind the turrets, we don't try to kill them anymore, we- I used to tell people to, but ever since they started bugging out- Okay, that was a big hit, but I- you know, shields are fine, so whatever. But once you get behind it, it won't shoot you, and, uh, the guards won't spaz out because you broke their turret and then shoot you, and, uh, ruin your farming runs. This is by far the most efficient way to- unfortunately, if you're, like, here to loot bodies, it's not as fun because you, you would have to drag the bodies all the way around the back. And without a grav gun, that would suck. Or, a, you know, gravity multi-tool attachment. Whatever the heck it is, okay? I, I think I actually retracted my landing gear. It doesn't show that it's up. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Landing gear is proper. Don't, don't leave your ship parked without the landing gear. It'll bug out. It might sink through the ground. It, all sorts of problems can happen with it. I, I know, technically, this ship, you can land without the gear. I've done it before. But, uh, it, it, again, it could just, like, bug out and bounce around and blow itself up. So, don't, don't, make sure that your landing gear's up. If you want to know, that icon on the left will be lit up. Just rewind the video if you need to look at it. The icon will be lit up if it's out, and it, it will be dimmed if it's not out, okay? <laughs> all these other YouTubers, forget to mention these little basic things. But here we go, we're gonna run in, eliminate the hostiles, and get paid, and we're at 23 minutes in. So we still have quite a bit of time. Now, my gun's kind of in the way, <laughs> uh, but that's fine. We got full ammo on it, we are 100% health. We are rocking. Most of the time I do this, I never get shot at all, but that one time, all those respawns, I guess it gave one of the AIs time to lock on. If you're constantly running, the a the AI, like, lags. It doesn't know your position until you hold your ground. So that's why I just run in here like a Rambo, okay? That's, like, they're not good at tracking, okay? Yellow guy, it's really risky to run in front of your yellow bros. I, I want to clear this floor before I go upstairs, because I saw a purple on this side, but I don't want to just stop and shoot at him. Okay, there's purple, purple. Wow, he ducked. Okay, well, I shot him in his butt. There we go, shoot him too. See, they, they can't track you very well. Um, I got a thousand, because, well, it's it says a thousand, but it's really 500 twice, just, uh, you know, condensing itself. Now, if you see these elevators open, that's their respawns, okay? So just, if this door's open, bad guy alert, you know? And I accidentally reloaded there. I shouldn't have reloaded. Now I have a half-empty clip. I'll show you how to identify that later. <laughs> 
And, and yeah, I, some people might have trouble aiming. I played FPS games even professionally as a teenager my entire life. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not claiming to be an FPS pro anymore. It, it's been so many years since I, I've played any kind of FPS seriously or competitively. I just do it for fun and for memes. Uh, but this is not hard stuff. You just center the target on your screen, hold right click, and then tap. Tap the left click. Okay, the, apparently there's one more dude left. Okay. Now, if we wait for respawns, that number will go up. So the faster you clear it, the faster we can get the heck out of here and go to the next contract. So I tend to just kind of do the same little loop-de-loop -loop around. Okay, well, a yellow guy took care of it. Now, the problem with the yellow guys, like I said, killing the guards... If a yellow guy kills a guard, you still get the quest completion. However, you um, you you don't get that 500, that juicy 500, okay? So, if I can find a guy with our ammo set, I can show you what I mean. I just heard a door open? Did you? Okay, I know you heard that. If you hear a door open, that's respawns. You need to be, like, on your toes about that. So, I'm assuming this guy had this weapon. We're gonna... I'm gonna see if I can sh show you what I mean. So, I'm gonna left-click and hold here. And uh, it's not joint properly. This is I have an open spot for it, so I'm just gonna put it there. Inventory is not really the most reliable. It's supposed to show a bunch of circles of my ammo, and it and and the circles will be half full or half empty, whatever. Now it's just completely bugged out. Okay, maybe this guy is bugged out. It better not be full inventory bug out. Or now see. <laughs> Come on, man. In the inventory bug is one of my most frustrating things. That's why I uninstalled the first time and made a hate video on this game. Uh, it got a lot of views, but... Infinite... You have to restart the game to get rid of this. But for the sake of this video and this speedrun, we're not focusing on looting, okay? The loot is not important. Completing the missions is. And so as long as the mission completion rewards don't bug out, we should be fine. So on the way back up the elevator, that's when I like to open the contact manager and do the next part. Elite, evict illegal occupants. 20k, let's go. Uh, Damaris, HSDF Damaris. Now as you do these, you will be ranking up the Hurston uh, security, or Hurston whatever, some kind of rep. Some sort of NPC faction that you can unlock better quests with. Yes, I speak, I, I use terms like an MMORPG gamer, okay? What do you think this channel is? I covered World of Warcraft, New World, Albion Online, uh, Lost Ark, I mean... I'm gonna speak and use the language that I know until I learn the language of Star Citizen. So if you want to correct me on these terms, let me know in the comments. I, I don't mind if you tell me how what I'm supposed to say. Instead of quest, it's contract, I, I guess? Or... What, business inquiry? I whatever you know what I mean. Come on now. All right, let's go. Blast off! Woo! Blasting off! We're blasting off into space. All right, we are at 28 minutes now. At 30 minutes 30 seconds is about when we that would be the 30 minute point, and then we will check. And again, remember we're, we got to get at least to 9,000, or it won't let us warp there. So we're going to make sure that we hit that 9,000 point. 9,000 altitude, 8,000, by, by about 8,500 I can coast the rest of the way. This usually gives me a lot of G's. I'm pointing the wrong way anyway, it's over here. Then we go to Damaris, which I've actually never been to Damaris, so I wonder if the AI is super buggy in this one or not. Could be. But hey, here's the, like, like I said, the coolest thing about doing these bunker missions is if, if the game completely crashes and I'm forced to do a character reset, I didn't invest anything, okay? I didn't buy armor, I didn't buy weapons, I didn't rent ships, okay? I'm not at the mercy of people that spent thousands of real-life dollars on their super ships. I don't have to fly across the galaxy constantly. I'm just hopping around the planet. I'm super close to a main city to, if I wanted to vendor. Um, there's all sorts of just benefits of doing this over doing other monetary things. Now, I haven't... I haven't fully explored all the ways to make money yet. I've done rock mining extensively to the point where I can speed run it, and I still think it's worse off because you are at the mercy of the game when you when you mine. If you have to do that, if you're rented, if you're using rented ships, which I'm I'm not gonna go buy a rock and a cutty black to to see if the money per hour is any better, right? Because it's gonna be about the same. And then if you encounter the same bugs, you still lose your haul. Whereas this, the haul is every bullet you put in someone's head. 
the the hall is just completing the quest by you show up and kill one dude and the quest completes. All right, and if you really wanted to make it big, you could bring containers and and um, multi tools with tractor beams. See, I'm using the right terms this time for once. And you could throw all the bodies in your ship, strip them from the the nearby inventory to the ship inventory, and then vendor all of that. I I, I did that once. I, I did. I don't know how many bunker runs I did, but I did a ton of them. And I sold every piece of armor that I found. Okay, hard break, hard break, hard break. Yeah, man. This time we're positioned right behind the turret, so we don't have to worry about it. Landy gear down. Go ahead and park it. Ah, that was a rough landing. We took hull damage there. You see how uh, my, my ship made kind of a red flash on the, on the screen there? So that's my bad. I've done rougher landings and taken no damage, so... We want to make sure that we're, we're nice and behind this turret so it, it can't clip us with one of its guns. I also like being a little bit closer. Okay, so that's close enough. Good enough. Now, it's about 30 minutes and 30 seconds, so it's time that we take a look at our earnings so far. Okay. And, yeah, it's smoking a bit because I did that rough landing, huh? Maybe not. Maybe it's just the atmosphere. I don't know. 7 degrees Celsius. I don't know Celsius. Uh, where's my money at? There it is. And then we're going to pop this up and add it to that real quick. So, uh, looks like we made a good amount. 701. 455. So, the math, quick math, 30, 60, 70, 90. So, that's 60K. Uh, that's like 64K so far. So, it'd be 128K. Yeah, it's about, about right. Looks about right to me. 130K is what I averaged this when I did it off camera the first time. Okay, and and yes, I know I'm not doing it absolutely perfectly. Why am I not able to run? Okay, I'm rubber banding now. Okay, not good. I'm I'm running, but it's really slow. It's like when you have a dream, and and I dream I, I dream lucid lucidly. I lucid dream, so I don't have this problem, but I know everyone else does. It's like when you try to run, but it feels like you're in water or something. I don't know. I just I just delete that from my brain and just make it run. Like super fast or teleport. I don't tell it like when you're omniscient and all powerful, you just teleport or sometimes, I mean that or you just run with infinite stamina, which is so nice. It's like being a little kid again. Do you remember when you were a little kid and you could just run forever? I miss that in real life. I didn't mean to lay on the elevator. Stop laying down. We have a mission to do. We gotta go brr, 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 into the purple guys and get paid. So we made like 64k so far in 30 minutes, and even if the game crashes, bugs out, we get to keep that. It's it's ours. Guns on the ground. Guns on the ground. Yes. Guns on the ground. Dot com. Per Look at this purple guy. He is unaware. There we go. We could actually, you know, take our time and aim. But I want to make sure that everyone off this floor, it will on this floor, is completely eradicated, which is not the speedrunner way to do it. You should just follow one wall and eventually you'll find your way back to the entrance with everything cleared in one go. Did we, oh, we already beat it. <laughs> that, yeah, like I said, we just kill one guy. We just beat it. So I don't even need to explore. We're done. It was one dude. Now we could kill respawns. I heard a door open. We could go hunt respawns. Eh, screw it. <laughs> Let's go to the next mission. Next mission. <laughs> it's so cool when that happens. All right. Uh, let's see. No and yes. Now, I know that other one was 60,000. Why am I not taking the 60,000 one? What is wrong with me, huh? Let me tell you what's wrong, okay? You take the quest that's 60,000, you're supposed to guard a facility. It's you and a bunch of guards, and eventually what's supposed to happen is you have three waves of attackers. Okay, wave one happens, a bunch of dudes spawn in, which when they spawn in, and if you're not zooming around like an, you know, like a... <laughs> ADHD person, which I get called a lot in my comments for some reason, um, then they the AI has time to acquire your position and fire at you before they fully phase into existence. Okay, and a lot of people stand around and then like 10 dudes spawn right on top of their, their face and then they're dead. But it's not the difficulty that, that I complain about. It's the fact that those bug out. You show up to the facility, it's like guard the facility. You have three waves to do. You sit there and sit there and sit there. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, one hour. And nothing ever spawns. You never get a defensive wave to, to have to deal with. You're just there twiddling your thumbs like an actual guard in real life would do when there's no bad guys to apprehend. 
And so you don't get paid until, unless bad guys show up. You don't just show up and be like, oh, this was an easy shift. No one showed up today. Ha ha. Uh, no, you only get paid whenever bad guys show up and then you blast them. So with that said, we just skip that because by the time bad guys show up and you complete that quest, I can do four of these 15k ones plus the 500s and you get more rep for doing four of these than one of those and you can do it in faster time. Uh, you've got to be efficient with these kinds of games. You've got to be on the nose. you got to be... <laughs> like, you can grind off this rep in one setting, okay? That's the thing. You can max out the Hurston rep in, like, maybe two to three three hours, something like that. It's really, really quick. You can, you can do it in one setting. You don't... Just skip all the stupid, long, stupid quests, okay? There's another one where you have to break, like, 600 drug crates. Let me tell you how this works. You go to these crates in the bunker, and you have to melee them or shoot them... Or, the, the best way is to use a grenade launcher and blow up the whole stack in one shot. 640 crates, and you, you barely get more money for it. It's, uh, you get the same rep for doing these little piddly quests instead. Yeah, you get paid more, you get like 50 or 60k. But, it takes so much longer, it takes so much more of your resources, it's not worth doing. And I'm gonna open my landing gear now, because I've tested this, and... I don't care about simulation or realism, I care about video games, game mechanics, and min-maxing, and my speed is not altered with the gear down or up. Right now I'm flying at, what, 420, 19, 18, 17, yeah, it's so on and so forth. If I retract this, it's still going to decrease my speed, it doesn't matter that it's out, okay? Uh, this just saves me a button push later when I try to land behind the turret. That's all it does, is it saves me a button push, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, you know, hit my button now, so I don't have to hit my button later. It's that simple, and people could be mad, be like, well, if you were a real pilot, you wouldn't do that. Well, I'm sorry, but space travel isn't real. Earth's, <laughs> oh, I'm kidding, Google, Google, YouTube, please, Susan, I'm kidding. I didn't mean it. Please no. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I know YouTube takes jokes super seriously. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not going to finish that sentence. You, you join my Discord if you, if you want me to finish that sentence. I don't actually believe that stuff. It's just a meme. It's just too too, too much time spent on 4chan. <laughs> oh, I'm getting shot. Owie. Owie turret. Sometimes, like, the ship behaves really weirdly. I think it's damaged, but it's fine. Whatever, we're just going to perk it now. Just bloop right on the ground. And cut the power. You always cut the power because if the wind blows or another player bonks your ship, it'll just float off into um into the the ether and then um and then you're stranded and if you're stranded in this game if you're quick enough you can log out and back in and keep your guns and armor which i always put it i always put it in everest harbor i just leave it there uh so that if one day i decide i don't want to do my first bunker run naked then i don't have to i can just throw the set on and uh just smoke all the bad guys right Alright, so here we go. Bunker number... I've, I've lost count. I don't know which bunker this is. I don't know how many bunkers I've done by now. But uh, it's cool. Even if we were to die, or lose all our stuff, or get blown up by another player, whatever, the game crashes, we're forced to do a character reset, we keep th this money that we did at. Only on a, like, a full account, you know, global reset do you lose your money, I think. I don't know for sure. I haven't been playing long enough to know all that yet, so don't... Don't ask me. There is a purple man, maybe? I, I gotta get closer to confirm it. That's definitely a purple man. Look at him run around. He's trying to be... That... Oh, fuck. That was a yellow man. Quest failed. I got crime stat. Uh, from here, it's... Run's basically over. I didn't make it to one hour. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna kill all the purple guys and get the heck out of here. Now, there is stuff you can do to get rid of your crime stat. But bounty hunters will come. Other players will come. Uh, but, yeah. Whoops. See, this is why you gotta... This is the one bad thing about doing the bunker runs, is if you're trigger happy, and you're not careful with what colors... Like, I have trouble with colors, okay? Uh, not in... I guess colorblind. Not super, super colorblind, but... That yellow guy, he had it coming. He, he, his stance made him look like he was a, a menacing fellow, okay? <laughs> uh... So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna kill all the baddies. I don't know if I still get 500 for that. I don't, I, again, I don't know. But if I go to any other bunker... Ooh, that was a little trade-off. Alright, let's get out of... Whoa, whoa now. 
Uh, I, I don't think I'm getting 500 for those kills. Let's see. This is definitely purple, dude. It's not popping up anymore, so I think I'm ineligible for it. Oh well. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I can re-accept them or not, but... Well, let's go ahead and reload here. <laughs> Get the heck out of here. My bad, guys. Well, you know, it, it, this would have been the same kind of video for 40 more minutes, but... Uh, Let's see, is it going to let us uh, reacquire these, uh... Yeah, it's... See, they're, they're basically gone until I clear crime stat, so... That sucks, but... How, how much money did we end up with? And th this was, uh... Let's, let's say 40 minutes, okay? <laughs> 40 minutes. Yikes. So, to total earned in 40 minutes. Forty mins, cause shot yellow. <laughs> Seven twenty-two, four fifty-five, and then let's do the math here. Okay, so seven twenty-two, four fifty-five, and then we're gonna minus six thirty-eight, nine fifty-five. That is an eighty-three five hundred. Okay, and uh, let's see. Make sure I get this brought back on. So eighty-three five hundred is how much we earned. Now, here's a cool thing. Because it's about 40 minutes, um, let me divide that by 2. That's 41K uh, times 3. So, one hour average. I didn't mean to caps lock that. Is 125K 250. If we, if we did the math of our current earnings, you know, I could have potentially pushed that higher. I have before. But in this specific run, uh, you know, with me being distracted recording and all that stuff... Um, yeah, 125k an hour, okay? You make about 150k an hour doing rock, and that's if everything goes your way. Um, but unfortunately, uh, I gotta go sit in jail now, so I'm gonna go and um, turn myself in and sit in jail for an hour, because it's an hour of real lifetime, while I render this video out and, you know, tag title thumbnail it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this Star Citizen video. Uh, if you want to see me um, try other farming methods and see how much you can earn per hour, live with a whole uncut video just like this one let me know however i just have the starter ships because that's all people donated to me and that's fine that's all i need really to earn the big boy ships so i i will i am trying to play six games at a time here so it's a little hard to find time to grind six different games to make content for because if i don't i die in real life youtube is not the most you know um <laughs> not the best job to have but it's the only one that i'm really qualified for that i could maybe pull myself out of the uh i don't know maybe pull myself out of uh, what should i call it poverty with anyway with that said i will see you in tomorrow's video because i make videos every day on this channel make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next cool how much money can you make in an hour video on star citizen or whatever i don't know um <laughs> uh and uh, if you want to give me a monetary don donation, click that thanks button. There's some of you out there that spend thousands on this game. So spending like five bucks on a comment that highlights it, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I would do that if I had lots of expendable income. Uh, what's going on here? We got radar lock. Okay. Radar lock. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, yeah. If you want to become a channel member. Private more personal videos. It's five bucks a month. I got a pretty useful video on the channel that explains how to be a YouTuber, SEO, how to edit and, and upload and all the YouTube tricks all in like 40 minutes. It's a really cool video. Only five bucks to access it. The link is in the, uh, well, you click the join button and then you have access to, to members only videos. Uh, there's a playlist in the pinned comment if you want to take a look before you uh, decide to become a channel member. Anyway, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Make sure you're subscribed for tomorrow's video. Take care. Mwah.